You're listening to the Monday Night Community Show with Daniel on BRFM. This is the Daniel Monday Night Community Show on demand through YouTube. Thank you very much for choosing to listen to us through this method. If you'd like to keep up to date with when I add new interviews, then subscribe to this channel. So we're going to be talking all about the Dockyard Church, a bit of an update, which is a regular slot we do here at the Monday Night Community Show, just to update you, date you with what's, uh, what's happening. We're joined with uh, two people today. If you could first Firstly, both introduce yourselves for our listeners. Yeah, I'm Will Paley and I'm the chairman of the Sheerness Dockyard Preservation Trust. And I'm Chris Folds, I'm trustee of the Trust. So I was hoping that both of you could update us on how things have been going. Sure, well, a lot's been going on behind the scenes. Um, We have been working on our um, funding applications to get the project moving in earnest. We're now a confirmed charity, which took a long time to, to sort out. And uh, today's exciting because we've got a visit from the Architectural Heritage Fund, um, who are coming to assess uh, one of our major grant applications. And touch wood, we'll be receiving some funds from them. And also, yeah, I've, uh, with regard to smaller funding, I've um, uh, put application into Swellborough Council for um, a heritage grant of a thousand pounds basically that's for extra architectural works to be carried out um, some you know more proposed designs and things like that um, also I am working on another application for Queen of Fisheries at the moment I have um, held off on that until the next meeting because I've been developing this idea of um, sort of three-dimensional model of the church as it's proposed it's going to be built um, using virtual reality technology as well so very exciting very sort of up-to-date IT equipment Um, good thing about it in my point of view it will draw younger people towards the church and the um, the whole project so is it something you're hoping people will be able to see on online yeah absolutely very realistic um, it can be uploaded in a way online. There's quite a lot of research I've been doing over the last six weeks um, with regard to developing the model, taking it into a rendering program, <clears throat> and then taking it onto the virtual reality equipment. There's different uh, sort of pieces of software that needed, you know, to be researched and the best sort of flow forward. So you had to measure the church, or have you used measurements that were there? How have you done that? Well, basically at the minute, what, what we really do need to do for this part of sort of, you know, sub-project, if you like, is we, we do need to get a, a, a more definitive proposal of, of what's going to be internal of the church and how the trusts see what um, needs to be introduced with regard to community projects maybe and other bits and pieces and when we set out from that point on we can then take that information and data bring it into 3D as a model and um, go from there So is there anything else you'd like to, to cover? Um, yeah from my point of view um, especially with what seems to be going on now very exciting times for the local area and there's the Beachfields project, which is now up and running and, and gaining some really positive ground. Um, obviously, I'm also chairman of SEAL, which is running the touring cinema locally. And with a project like this, it's I'm very passionate about, you know, local area, bringing more visitors to local area <clears throat> and more community um, sort of and leisure activities for people. This project in particular is very exciting. Um, it can offer, I think, a good deal of community sort of um, events and um, sort of activities, you know, to do for local people and visitors. And with regard to all these things going on now, it seems like a very positive time for the island. And um, this is a, a good way that all these groups can work together. Well, I'd like to thank you uh, very much to both of you. If you've covered everything for uh, giving us our little update. It's a pleasure, and I'll just say, Daniel, if anyone can hear sounds of things being chewed, uh, that's my dog, so I hope he hasn't interrupted. I know, he's been very good at it. Thank you. Thank you, Daniel.